Hey Swirly Savages, we're going to make a card and we're going to need some cardstock. One sheet that's four and a half by five and a half. And then we're going to need two that are cut at eight and a half by five and a half. Then we're going to score this at two and an eighth, four and a fourth, and six and three eighths. And then you'll do that with the second one. So it's two and an eighth, four and a fourth, and six and three eighths. Then what we're going to do is line this up on a cutter and you want that first fold to be right on the cut line and then you want to angle it in one inch so that's on the fold at the top and then angled in one inch so we're cutting at a diagonal then what i did is used a edge punch and you want to line up the edge so it just catches the first fold and you'll do that on the straight and then you'll continue the design down the diagonal here on the cardstock so that we've got that on both pieces. So again, you're going to edge of that punch at the first fold, and then you'll continue that die pattern down the diagonal side. And then you're gonna fold in an accordion fashion. Use an adhesive of your choice on the long edge and the bottom short edge. And this is going to be the cut edge, not the fold edge that you're going to put the adhesive on. And then line that up so the cut edges are even, even with the side, even with the bottom. Do the other side as well. And we're going to get that stuck on there. So now you've got the accordion going in on both sides there. See that? Okay, and that'll stand up on its own. Now some strips of paper just to decorate the accordion and I think mine were about two inches wide and I of course did some ink distressing gotta have some distressed ink edges and then fold in and you're going to decorate that next one and I just folded the edge of the paper down to kind of follow that same diagonal and then use the paper cutter to get that straight Fold up. Now we're going to do the outside too. Decorate those. Same premise, I just folded the edge of that top pattern paper down to kind of follow the same diagonal of the cardstock. And then we're going to go ahead and finish the last one here. Just fold that completely out. And this paper that I'm using is actually um, a kit that I purchased from Chrissy in the Swirly Do store when we were there for Swirly Camp. We got the privilege of going shopping in the store. And that mesh is also from the Swirly Do store. In case you're wondering, that paper is a Kaiser Craft High Tide, I believe is what it's called. Okay, so then I just took a stencil after I put a saying on the front. Um, this is some clear crackle paste. And then some flowers and string. The string was included in a prior Swirly Juice kit. And then the flowers, again, were in the kit that I purchased from the Swirly store. I'm using some 3D gloss gel and some of the Art Stone Minis. Kind of add a little texture to that. And then that was a die cut that was also included in the kit. And there you go. And there you see it'll stand up on its own when you set it down. So, hope you make it.